Hello Aquarius, welcome to my channel. This is going to be your weekly reading for the week of the 11th of September. Okay, we're going to jump straight in with the sound ball so you can tune in with me if you prefer, if you like. I'm going to take a breath in and out. Okay, Aquarius, let us see what the week is bringing you. We're going to do a cross of truth, okay? It tells me where you're at, what you want, what the challenge is, what the power is, and the likely outcome. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for subscribing. If you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome. Okay, let's jump straight in there. Aquarius, week of the 11th of September. Okay, your current position, justice. What you desire, uh, five of pentacles, to get out of the five of pentacles. In your power, we've got the page of pentacles, some good news coming in. Um, what's working against you, the challenge at the time, is the magician, and the outcome is the star. And Aquarius, this is your card. This is you standing very, very strong. Okay, so definitely the outcome of the week is going to be better than the beginning of the week. All right? Um... You might be feeling that everything's up against a bit of a brick wall this week, but to start off with the Justice card, to end off with the star, I mean, these are um, destined energies. You are starting off in a good position, but it feels like you're starting off with a bit of a clean slate, okay? You kind of clean things up, you've balanced things out, and you're like, okay, right, what is coming, what am I going to bring into my life? And the bringing into your life is all to do with healing, nurturing, wish fulfillment, all right? Following your north node, your north star. Okay, so we're gonna clarify each of these ones. We definitely have some good news as it relates to money or some sort of um, resource that you've been looking for. Uh, we've definitely got a lot um, pentacles coming up because we've got three major arcanas and then the only other two arcanas are, um, are pentacles. So it's really your focus is on money. Okay, your focus is on longevity. Okay, uh, to be in this position of uh, the five, to want the five of pentacles in an intention, desire, is to look for resources outside the norm. Now, it may require you to step outside your comfort zone because it's very easy for us to remain in a lack mentality, to remain thinking that we're isolated, that no one's got our back. And I feel like what you're doing is you are reaching out and saying, okay, well, what are my resources? Who's got my back? Where can I find more? Okay, so for that to be in the intention desire, it shows a bit of a changeover. You see, all, all tarot cards have um, positive and negative connotations, depending on what firstly jumps out at the reader, and secondly, um, what where it lies in the spread. <clears throat> For some of you, you, your focus with regards to money is more concerned with family than anything else. And I feel like you are holding tightly onto that. Okay. Right. Let's clarify. We'll get three of each, please, Spirit. Okay. Okay. Under the Justice card, we have the Ten of Wands, nice, Six of Pentacles, and the Star. Okay, under the Five of Pentacles, we have the Knight of Swords, Queen of Cups, Eight of One, uh, so Eight of Swords. Under the Page of Pentacles, we've got the Ace of Wands, Eight of Cups, Three of uh, Swords. Under the Magician, we've got the Wish Fulfillment, which is the Nine of Cups, Wheel of Fortune, and the Moon. Three major arcanas uh, uh, clarifying that Magician for you, which is responding as a challenge for you this week, all right? Uh, the Star, we have the Two of Wands, Eight of Pentacles, bless you, and the Seven of Swords. Okay, starting off with that Justice card over there. We, uh, you are definitely, you're wrapping something up at the moment. You're wrapping something up to create that bit of a clean slate for yourself. I think what is happening here is you are arriving at a position of equilibrium, 
harm, harmony as it relates to what you put in, you get out. Okay, you're looking at your finances, you're seeing where can I gain more for my energy. And within that, with the star card, it shows that you are on the right path right now, right in this moment. You're exactly the right path that, need, that you need to be in. Okay, and because it's setting you up for the star position. With clarifying the star position down at the bottom and then ending off on the star position, your card, Aquarius. Okay, you are on the right path. So you can already put that out of your mind and not worry about that part and then focus on the rest. Now, the desire with the Five of Pentacles, we've got it clarified here by the Knight of Swords, the Queen of Cups, and the Eight of Swords. Okay, so there's your Five of Pentacles over there. You see how the mother is holding on tightly to the child and uh, looking at the, the father kind of going, what the hell are we going to do? Where can we ask for help? I feel like you are um, putting your feelers out there. You're gaining information and insight with the Knight of Swords. It feels to me like you're definitely uh, doing anything it, and anything you can to find your sense of emotional well well-being within your heart space. Okay, so we're talking about it's all about it, it's playing up in your world as the pentacles, but it you are really operating the mind to connect with the heart. So it's like a big puzzle that you are having to um, muddy through. You're putting the puzzle pieces together. Part of you feels completely restricted. Okay, the other part of you feels I've got to make this happen. So you're stuck between. You're sort of in between. Um, a stuck state and a I'm going to make this happen state and right in the middle is that Queen of Cups okay who follows her heart okay so if you're finding yourself a little bit um, isolated that things aren't happening too quickly just tune back into your heart space and just connect with that space because that Queen of Cups is coming up really nicely for you uh, with the page of uh, Pentacles coming up over here it's clarified by the Ace of Wands the Ace of Cups and the Three of Swords now this is uh, in your strength position, okay? The strength is that you're going to get some, some news, really positive news this week, that is going to be extremely inspiring, okay? Obviously, it's your decision whether you take it, but I think you're taking it. In order to take that um, inspired action, that passion, okay? For some of you, it could be a passion project, it could be new love, it could be a new home, whatever the case may be, right? But if you take that, it's um, enabling you to walk away from this internal conflict you've had in your heart space, okay? So even though you've the, the kind of external uh, focus is pentacles, I think what you really are doing is you really are having that tug of war between the heart and the head this week. You're finding ways to alleviate stress in the mind space that cause that is maybe as a result of an um, emotional um, imbalance. But remember, you start off in a balanced position, so that's all right. But it does feel that this, whatever you get invited to, whatever you get offered this week, whatever good news comes in, I would absolutely go for it because it is working in your favor. It means you can walk away from heartache. It means you can say goodbye to the things that are just heavy in the mindset, okay? And change your focus towards an exciting endeavor. What's working as a challenge is manifestation with the Magician card, clarified by the Nine of uh, nine of Cups, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Moon, okay? Meaning that um, it's like you feel things aren't happening. It feels like you're swimming against a current. Now, I know that we are often taught to just go with the flow, um, not to push too hard. Um, but if you think about some species like salmon, they swim against the current. Okay, so it feels like you are um, really getting to where you want to go without needing, without using um, uh, using the energetic flow. It feels like you are manipulating the energetic flow towards suiting you. And this is where the challenge lies, okay? Because it feels like things aren't uh, smooth swimming this week as it relates to the energy around, but I feel like what's happening is because you created that clean slate, you're taking charge and you are, in a way, manipulating the energy to serve you because it's not happening naturally, organically, right? And this is really interesting because um, you may, the thing that may be preventing the full energy of the magician to come in is because it may be a little bit of disruption to do with whether your um, drive forward 
is actually your clear wish fulfillment okay so i'm not sure that you are super duper clear on what that means for you okay within that it means that the wheel turns backwards and forwards because the universe isn't quite certain not quite sure where where you're coming at okay um and that can cause a little bit of emotional disbalance unbalance within the moon space but again that's where it feels like I don't know where my end goal is. I don't know exactly how it's going to pan out, but I'm going to work with the things that have worked for me, which is that Ace of Wands and that Page of Pentacles. The outcome is that beautiful star, which is obviously your card. Okay, it's clarified by the Two of Wands, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Seven of Swords. So you are definitely arriving at the point by the end of the week, kind of looking out and kind of going, okay, right, I feel a bit more settled. I feel like I know what I'm doing. And now I'm going to plan for the future. Now, all of the things that you have been doing is already been planning for the future, but it wasn't, you weren't so clear cut. So I feel like by the end of the week, you're starting to feel, I think there's some momentum. You, because you felt inspired now and you, and you recognize that actually there's something that I can walk away from that has been dragging me down. When, once you're that position, you sort of stand at the top of your castle, you're looking at the world, the, at the horizon, and you've got the globe in your hand, you're kind of going, right, now what, okay? And within that, that takes quite a lot of work, quite a lot of self-mastery. Now, we've got the pentacles over here, so obviously you are working hard, but I'm more sensing you are working harder or more deliberately on your um, uh, staying positive and wish fulfillment and um, having faith. So it's like re regardless of what happens through the week, even though we've got some good stuff going on, those little trips and falls that you may have, by the end of the week, you are gonna, you should really give yourself a pat on the back because what you are mastering is your ability to overcome obstacles and remain positive for the future, regardless of what's showing up for you. And that's a very tactical uh, um, approach to take with that Seven of Swords, okay? For some of you, there may be um, a, a, a wanting to depart the workspace, depart certain obligations that are really not your responsibility to take. And these are the things that you're coming up, um, these are the things that you are making sense of in your mind by the end of the week. Okay, I'm going to end this reading off with a... Oracle card for you, Aquarius. What does Aquarius need to know, please, for the week of the 11th of September? For their highest good. Get grounded. Empaths, highly sensitive, connect with nature. So anytime you feel that you are swimming against the current this week, Okay, find some nature to sort of sit and just meditate in. If you can't get out, just sit next to a plant, just meditate on the plant, look out to the sky, but or ground find some wood, whatever it means for you to get grounded. This um, clean slate that you've created for yourself in the beginning of the week with the justice card, it is showing me that it's um, because you created that kind of space within yourself, you a certain balance very easy for um, the universe or oh, energies around you to kind of see, oh, Aquarius is nice and balanced. Let's just like bombard her with our energy. Let's offload on her. No, 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 no. You've worked really hard to get to this, this position on your own merit, right? So no one should come at you with their energy and offloading their um, gunk. It is not going to serve you. Um, if you feel that that's happening, remove yourself from the situation, get grounded because you are, I feel like you are, you are in a position with that clean slate of absorbing stuff that doesn't belong to you. It's that simple. All right. And if you are sensing within yourself, um, uh, should I take this ace, ace of wands? Should I take this passion? Should I take this excitement again? If you can, find a quiet moment within yourself and just check in with your heart space because your heart space is driving you forward, okay? So you are going to get your wish. Wonderful. Um, just got a little bit of um, obstacles to jump over this week. All right? So I hope that helped. hope it resonated. Please give me a thumbs up if you like this uh, video and if you want me to continue this. Also, I do offer personal readings. If you're interested, uh, you can check my website, lovetomore.com. Information is in the description box. Have a beautiful week. Now, see you next time.